Well, the first time you walk into a gun store and there's a python in a gun case and you look at it and you say, my God, what a work of art. When you put a python in your hand, there is Valhalla. It's, it's unbelievable. And that's one of the reasons it was a wonderful gun to shoot and super accurate. Most shooters have a gun. They say, man, I wish I would have bought that gun. And for a lot of shooters, that gun is the Colt Python. Well, they've been asking for it and asking for it, and now Colt's delivered for you. The Colt Python is back. The Python is iconic. It's America. Everybody loves it. When you put a python in your hand compared to other revolvers, the feel, the fit, the reach of the trigger to your trigger finger, when it was designed, it was just perfect. I think like most firearms, it's, it's beyond just their ability to shoot. It's part art. I think for people, firearms are more than just an extension. It's kind of an extension of their, their themselves. For me, it's really special to have that moment in our history to be able to reconnect again with those consumers. To have that experience again, to be able to shoot something as legendary, a trigger as legendary, and that feel of a full-size revolver, and that's why we wanted to bring it back. Well, one of the interesting things going to shows and talking to people about the Python is there was all these rumors about um, like Colt had shut down the Python production, but all the machines are there and they just kind of threw tarps over them and they could just pull the tarps off and just start making Pythons again. The reality is that because of how we make guns today and the machinery that we use and the modern equipment that we use, we can make a much better Python today than we could in the past. It's just got to do that one last trigger pull. All right, Mark Reddle with Colt. The Colt Python is back, man. I'm excited. I'm stoked about this. This is something that Colt has been working on for five years. People have been asking and asking about it, and it's back. The good thing about it is there's actually two areas that we worked on this gun. Okay. The first one is with the shooter in mind. We've added a lot of features that bring this into a 2020 style gun. Instead of having a pin front sight like the original, right. we use the same technique as our Cobra where it has an Allen key in the front so the owner can take out and remove the sight and put in a different sight that he wants to. The other thing we've done is we've actually recessed the muzzle on the barrel. This helps protect that muzzle that and crown. the crown of it to maintain accuracy throughout the year. You know, when you've gone 20 years since the last pythons were produced, there are improvements in technology and, and materials. Well, the first thing, of course, is the material. These guns are much stronger than the original. The steel that we have is much stronger. We've tested these guns with 12,000 rounds of not 38, but 357 the Magnum. Magnum okay. With no frame stretch, no frame twisting, okay. the barrels, everything. This is the strongest Python ever made. Now let's talk about some of the similarities people will notice from the Pythons they love, you know, back in the day. We have the ventilated rib barrel. Yep. The heavy underlug, which gives us a lot of balance of weight. Oh, up front. so much balance. It just hangs out there mm -hmm. so easy. We have a fully adjustable rear sight. You have up and down elevation. This sight is, is so much more durable than the original. Trigger looks the same as the original. Mm -hmm. This gun, when you pick it up, feels like it's part of you. These are the one you want to buy to have it as a shooter. Okay, they're shooters. Let's load up a few more rounds because ultimately, what's this gun for? What do you think people will be buying this for? Range time? I would use it for range time, hunting, 
Yep. The six inch version for hunting. As you know, somebody that masters a nice double action uh, trigger stroke can reach out 50, 75 yards to take white tail. Absolutely. So I see this for somebody to have in their uh, collection. Yes. As a versatile gun that they can take out. And don't forget, you can run 38 specials through this gun with this heavy gun. Yeah. If I had a daughter or a wife or even young son, this with 38s in it, what a great gun Sweet. to teach them on. Sweet shooting, fun to shoot. All right, let's shoot a couple more. The trigger on the new one is better than the old one. There's no stacking. It's straight trigger pull through and the inside is manufactured to be much more durable. When we introduced the new Python, one of the last segments, of course, is our testing. What we wanna do is make sure that the Python is not only a great looking gun, but a very durable, reliable gun. So the next step is we shoot it, and we shoot it, and we shoot it. We wanted to bring that legendary you know, feel and uh, provenance of the, the Python, but with today's strength in steel, with today's engineering, the way it comes together is just, it's, it's just special. As of today, we released the four and a quarter inch stainless steel Python and a six inch stainless steel Python. So those are the two flavors, I'll call them, right out of the gate, $14.99 each. You know, those are the new 2020 Colt Pythons. We told customers that we were going to bring back the Colt Python, and uh, it really feels good to tell them we did it.